Welcome back guys to another episode of uh, Pro Evolution Soccer Road to Div uh, Road to Champion uh, uh, being Barnsley uh, After last episode seeing back to back uh, wins and beating Wolves 2-1 to proceed through to the uh, League Cup we are now going into our next game which most people are fired up for which is against Charlton so currently this team should do quite, quite well or maybe not because half of them are goners so let's change up a little bit uh, Do I actually have an oh yeah I do Autumn Mickey Han can come back in a bit later and uh no I actually used Otum didn't actually know. Uh all both bird and thingy. Let's use someone else different, let's get you up here as well. Pushing him. Right then, hopefully this is the team that I can go with. Uh, and we are now going to go against Charlton, who are currently sitting, I believe, second from bottom of the league. Uh, I have a thing about playing against people who are quite low in the league and lo losing against them. Right then, here we go. And kick off. Stars has got the ball. Stars sees Harrington. Harrington's going to go for it. First strike, and it is flying over years apart. And it's like it's for us, so um, quite marked up in the middle. I'm going to try and lob it over them with this person here to head it forward. Santos has got the ball and he's made it 1-0. And it's currently 1-0 to Barnsley with Santos getting it in through in front. Same position that I'm doing as the manager. After splitting it so that it's in the middle, it's... Baha has seen a good ball for Santos. And it is 1-0. A in the interesting game with um, Hatsang being... Barnsley at 1-0. So some put, there's going to be some changes around. Hedges is coming on for Styles. As much as Styles has done very well, this is how it's gone. McGee Han's going to go over this side, and uh, Viner is coming on for Santos. So let's get started. At least in terms of the score line, so far so good. Here we go again. We the Mickey Han's got the ball. He's literally just come onto the pitch. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery was. They can revisit that for the run. And he's got the goal. Viner has only been on literally for five, six minutes. Oh no, that's not Viner, it's Baha. What a goal. Bade, sorry. And this 
little moment by McGee it's the combination between two of the new substitutes that's come in that has made it 2 nil to Barnsley right now so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or keeps going on Woodrow is going to play the full match today to get it forward quickly. that's just very well played he can't hurt you with his back to go and he didn't go for the back here oh Woodrow has got, oh Woodrow sees this opening Woodrow has just chipped the goalkeeper. Oh, what a moment by Woodrow. Wow. Barnsley are on fire. Second half. 10, 10, 15, 19 minutes in, 20 minutes left of the game. No, sorry, 14 minutes in. With 30 minutes left. I do apologise, my maths isn't that good. But wow, Barnsley are currently on fire. Charlton don't know what to do at the moment. Oh my god. And it is four. It has literally been three minutes, four minutes out of the game. And Barrett has literally got the second goal right now. The mistake by Charlton they're making right now. So currently it's 4-0 and it's only literally been 15, 24 minutes of the second half. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Hoist it forward. Good ball. That is a nice moment for them, but they really haven't done anything for it. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on. It's one! And I don't know what is happening to Charlton, but they are falling apart. Woodrow joins in with the act, and it is currently 5 0, 17 minutes left. The manager is saying, is there any point to keep pushing on? Goal difference is what is needed in this second half. There are so many goals in this game. So many highlights for you guys to have a little look at. It has been a slugfest. Very backwards past that was. So four minutes added on. And Charlton grabs a last minute goal and it was a consolation goal for them. The finish was actually bang on too. Charlton grab a goal, but it but it doesn't really matter now because like I said it was a consolation goal and Barnsley have won 5-1 biggest win away. We have got Bahar Bari winning, uh, scoring two, assisting two, and it's just second half. It just doesn't know. It just like we don't know what really happened to Charlton. They just literally just let go. Then with all that pushing through, Santos found a chance and he's gone through. But this takes them to sixth with three points behind the league leader uh, at the moment. So Barnsley are going to get up there. Um, Reading, Blue White, is the next opponent. Uh, let's look at messages. So, Derby would like us, would like Mr. Harris Khan to join them. Um, McGeehan has had his role change. He's makes it great to be honest the rest of the squad already thinks of him as a role already this also proves another point that McGeehan should be captain of the team best 11 so let's have a look at this so duo has been put up by Shanghai Shenhua October earnings I will have to have a check and as well best 11 three people on my team made it which is Davis Woodrow and Fine. Absolute moments they are having. 
especially if you know he is having the time of his life. Uh, we've got a uh, monthly report we can so job at Derby. Bird is a player that is unwilling um, to let go, and so is Brown as well. So let's go up to them. But only for Super Bowl five. So once again, forty three million by Saramsko for Kavar, which I am ending the negotiation. He's still young and I still want him. But Brown, on the other hand, you want him, you need to get him at, at a high price. I'm adding him to list of players. So, policy. Plays on transfer list, but this is definitely not worth it. Oh, there's still one more player. Dougal? Dougal. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping Dougal for the moment. How old is Dougal at the moment? Anyway, he's 26 actually. And he's gone on a negotiate for his max that he can go for. Uh, okay, 202. If we want him, Tim's already on the move. 126. We negotiate. He's worth 190. Market value, uh, no. You can have it on hands for policy, but but at the moment, these are what this is what I'm going to do. That is an outrage that they've let they've done something like that. Look at my management record. And it says Derby would like to do it, which I'm not going to accept. I would not be moving over my first season, so I'm going to stay with the team in my first season. Let's look at the budget report. So we added another 180,000 onto our salary now. So let's move on to our next game now, which, like I said, is against Reading. With all my players on, well, especially Santos is definitely way on form. Um, which I need to change that position very soon again. Because Harrington is also doing very well. Uh, but I need to, it's time for me to stop buying players which are a little bit, a little bit more talented. It's time to improve some of the uh, positions. Like, um, if anyone knows any players that I should sign, uh, at, at the moment, a player that I'm looking at is uh, Mason Mount and also uh, Mason uh, Greenwood as well. Two strikers. Woodrow is doing very well, and so is Santos, but, you know, you can't always rely on the two those two players. Um, Viner is on form, and I do need an extra player as well, so... So nothing's going to happen to that, and let's go. And this must be all there. Santos has got away from one. He sees him. Oh, and Harrington has slowly went the other way just so that he makes sure that goes in. So look at this, joy. look at this replay. Santos goes past him. Just when you think he was going to shoot, Harrison comes, slides it past the goalkeeper. Very late reaction actually from the goalkeeper, but it is 1-0. Oh, Strength, too strong for his opponent. Takes away our left back is coming on. 
Because running with the ball, can they build on it? Oh, the ball's come loose. <sighs> Don't know what really happened there, but Santos had a shot. Texeray had a shot. Santos had a shot. 20 minutes left of the game and nothing's really happened during this second half. He's left his man. <laughs> Get another substitute on. Which route is coming on now for white or coming off for wine? Oh my god, oh my god, how did he miss that? That was Davis should have hold on to that. Wow. So this unfortunately guys, this has been a really boring second half. Nothing really happened except for Santos's miss. I do apologize that this uh that's why I start doing cuts into the get into the game. Otherwise, you 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 would have experienced of a, a four and a half minutes worth of game of not being able to see a goal and just see moments like this. It has been poor. Barnsley has won this game finally with the um, Harrington goal. So that jumps us. No, everyone in the top section had won, I believe. So except for Derby. Uh, so everyone goes up in points. So match at 11 we have got Sheffield. Sheffield? Yeah, Sheffield. We have got Sheffield at the moment. Um, it looks like some words have come back. So some players have been tied from the international which happened oh apparently Shanghai Shenhua has agreed for Dougal negotiations for Pinnock which we don't actually use at the moment uh, Pinnock is Pinnock one of our starting 11 I did not actually know that Williams I don't plan to let him go because um, we need him um, Santos role change all right, let's have a look at some of the players that uh, that was put through on there. So Williams, a transfer offer has been given, which uh, don't even need to think about it until I get an, until we, I actually know I got Pinellos actually. So uh, technically I could have got rid of Williams. Actually, shall we renegotiate? No. Pinock is a centre back and a good one in a way. 1.4 million. How old is he? He's 26. I'll renegotiate this one. If. Yeah, if they can. If they can put it for 1.5. I'm willing to do it. Dougal, we finally got our accepted terms. Yep. Thank you very much, Dougal. We will get another defender for you. From, from you. Um, so, have a little look. Pinnock is not... Covered to <laughs> Look at this picture. <laughs> anyway, so some of the players are different than you can see. So, let's have a look. Oh. Go to negotiations. My team. Uh, shall we use Santos as an example? So he's a leader, star player, youth prospect, team player, star player, youth prospect. Cause is also a leader as well. So, but with that happening, Santos is going to take up the role of. Um, the manager at uh, the uh, uh, captain. This is the best role for it, only because he has the leader ability, which increases EXP for everyone as well. So we're going to forward to the next game, 
which we are against Sheffield Blue White. So, uh, their team Gary Hooper, Steve Fletcher, Aaron Pella, Hutchinson. They've got actually quite a good team board. But let's kick off now and let's see where we go from there. Hopefully, by this after this game, we should be able to jump up to. Hopefully, that's if they are lose losses. We jump up to third, or we might drop down a few points, as we might lose this game. You never know. But let's start going on. They've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, the old bit. And we're already into the second period. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Hooper's got it through. Halliwell passed it to Santos. Santos sees Woodrow on and Woodrow is on the run right now. Woodrow's going to go for it. Woodrow goes for a shot. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Right, I'm going to do some substitution. Hopefully, some of the subs here can actually help it out. Styles comes on, and we're going to put Viner on as well. He's got the ball. He's got the goal. Uh, and once again, Woodrow, you can see the frustration on his face. He should have made that 1-0, but that ends his round here. And... Look, this could still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some end. And that is it. It is 1-0 to Barnsley with Weiner scoring that last, last, last moment win. Weiner comes on and scores the goal. Both to substitute with the highest, highest stats, meaning that it was Styles once again showing why he should be starting instead of Harrington. That, that concludes that one and um, Preston WB are our next team but before that let's have a look negotiation with Pinock is uh, they're going to play the full re release cause of 500 uh, 1.5 million for Pinock which I am now going to accept as well as I'm sure we can buy Pinock in actually we can buy another defender in the future but um We are getting there. So we have gone up by 10,000 supporters in um, uh, whatever this is. I don't know if they're using that certain website, but I'm not going to say it because it could get done in for it. But um, oh, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, accept the cause, release calls first because uh, he plays with us. He doesn't go straight away. He plays until needs be. So accept the term for him. So we get 1.5 million and he was only worth 100,000 as well. So what goes next is that we are going to now play against Preston. Sorry, just going to have a quick check out where Preston is. Uh, the schedule is that we're playing Preston. Uh, a database, sorry. Team invite. Competition info. Second division. So it's standing. Preston are currently sitting second bottom of the league after Charlton's a disappointing start. 
and goal ranking wise Mitrovic is on 12 Santos is on 8 Charlie Adams is on 7 Woodrow is on 6 and Viner is on 3 he is slowly chasing up but he is there McGeehan Barrett Barrett has actually been very played very well for us which what this also means I am going to promote him a little bit by actually having him as one of my strikers so Bahari is actually moving up that list um, let's go on to our next match anyway so we are currently playing against someone who's 19th which I don't believe um, the first team should even play at all so I'm going to change it up a little bit Fieldings Pinnock who has just signed a new deal with um uh, our other team not, not, not yet but not Dougal 61 bottom actually Putin um, so mine is going to start this game off so it is Bahari who's going to be on actually a side now with um, over here like that uh, let's get what what an on and Williams as well um Adebayojo can uh play on this one but let's go into the game against the no, 19th Preston hopefully goals can fly in in this game and the last two game haven't actually been the most successful ones it has been a little bit boring so you there may be an extra game as there is not a lot of highlights in that one so hopefully we can play one more after this one Williams has got the ball now And Santos has a quick turnaround last minute shot for the second half to end at nil. Nil though. Unfortunate shot, but Barnsley is at nil. Nil. Once again, another match where it's been no goal so far. Oh, and Santa, the perfect play, and Santos has not done it again. And Styles is now here to take the free kick. Styles, and ooh, nothing really happened for Styles again. And that is it, it's 1 0. That little square that doesn't count as a chip through. It is Viner who scores that goal, I believe it was. This little playthrough, he chips a little bit, but he doesn't fully chip it, and Viner makes it one. So it's 1 0 during the second half, six minutes into the second half. Item goes through. And. Seventy seventieth minute, well, that's where he wants it. and some substitution is going to happen in a bit. Oh, what a referee has blown for it! He's been taken down and the referee has the I want a VAR on this. This has. Ah, oh, that was ah. Oh. I know, the goalkeeper is now, I'll do my bottom best, bottom left is always where I go for, and bottom left it is not. And it is now. Don't believe that was a penalty, it's a bad call by the referee in my opinion. 
but we've still got time and time it is what is what we need Williams that was more of a penalty than anything All right then, so new plans coming in. Change the formation. Do a 4-5-1 here. Get a sub on. As Harrington. And here we go. Still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some of it. And that's it. He's put it in. I did by your. Oh no, it's at him. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologise about that. But Viner comes off after that first goal he has put in, and it has put Etem. Etem has come on. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Barnsley get themselves into the lead. It was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Otum, 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 see Barre. Barre's going to go through. He's got away. Oh, a little shove there by the... Four added minutes on the board. There's four added minutes on this. Honestly, to hold on for a few more moments. Pinnock has absolutely He's been a... Dougal comes down. Dougal sees it, what's happening. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Barry's going for a shot. The whistle is gone. But it is it's 2-1. Three goals. Some entertainment for you guys. Controversial call. Don't believe it was a penalty. Put a comment below if you think that was a penalty. Perfectly slide time, slide tackle. I don't think at any point that was a penalty, but that takes us to fourth place currently in the playoffs and three points behind league leader Hull. Which also takes us to our next match, which is against Brentford. Get it. So against Brentford, no new messages, no nothing. We're going to go to our next match. Hopefully everyone on the main team is full, powerful and ready to go. As I have promised you guys, I'm going to do one more extra episode, uh, extra game on this one. As the results haven't been like the last few, uh, like the yeah, last episode where it was goals, goals, goals and more goals. But this time... Uh, it was more entertaining than anything with a last minute call by the referee saying that it should have been a penalty which in any case in my mind is definitely not a penalty oh quick quick play Woodrow Woodrow nearly puts it one nil up again Woodrow needs to get out of this drought he is currently Currently not doing quite well for himself. And Brentford's got another chance to go through. Brentford's gone for it and this time it goes in and it is a goal. 1-0 to Brentford. And it hasn't happened for... And nothing has happened for Barnsley this half, except for actually no, they did hit the post as well. Woodrow did hit the post, which is it's starting to get a little bit frustrating for myself because um, 
Woodrow usually should be putting them through, but lately it's just been Viner that's been putting it through, and Viner's been starting as. Player of this player has literally been the player of the episode for me. Why? He's literally done everything. Like he scored all the last-minute goals. He scored the goal, the winner for a, a nil-nil. That could have been a nil-nil draw. And it is a corner to Brentford. 51 minutes gone and currently it doesn't look like anything's going to happen for Barnsley. Booing at the moment. Let's see why they're booing at the moment. Harrington puts it in and it is currently 1-0 Barnsley has come back into it. And this is also re reply to Styles at the moment, telling he's telling Harrington. Harrington is telling Lee Styles, you're not the only one. Fina has got the ball back. And he sees that easy pass, easy goal. Any day, anyone can score that. And if you don't, that is over. It's 2-1 to Barnsley in the space of four minutes and then goal has gone in. Good play by Santos. He's actually going to do some substitution here. Uh, just so that he makes it quite fun for... Play it around here. But it's also going to come on. And after this substitution, hopefully, things will be different. It's 2 1 currently. Start on the bench and give Viner a chance to start up front. This is a. This is. That was. Not what I was expecting from Wajoy. But that takes us to third in the league now with Hull losing their last match Middlesbrough winning their match so that makes them two and first place at Fulham and we need to win one more and Fulham needs to either draw or lose their next match Leo Messi wins world's best player. It's been a good one. Um, so, announcements have been made. Santos has got a new nickname. I need to know what he's been called. He's been called Cobra. Santos is called Cobra. I have now entered December. So, probably next episode, we should finish it. And the episode after transfer season is on so don't forget to make sure to comment as much as you can to see who i will be buying this first transfer <coughs> season um that's if i have the money for it but these players have all gone up styles santos schlezak has gone up by two as well lander texero and Dow. 
So Moa, Fine and Santos. Once again, Fine has been in that every month at the moment. Was best manager was Novak and uh, was with Flair was Messi. So this ends today's episode. So we are currently sitting third on the in the League One at uh, League Two, sorry, of English League, and um, we are going crazy at the moment on our surge. We have literally got 35,000 starting at 23,000, gone up by 12,000, and we are now going to be finishing it off with a bang with that last match as well. Can Barnsley become champions of Division 1 English League? Make sure to follow what's happening. So, like, subscribe, comment below anything as I have mentioned today. The penalty should Woodrow Ro Ro be put in the next in the next uh, game, or should he become a substitute rotational player? Javina be given the chance of going up front. And once again, transfer is coming up, so make sure to comment about which transfer you like. Make sure to press the bell button so that whenever one of these come out, you're the first ones to watch it. Thank you very much. See you later.